right. What is going on? What's up there? If you're one of those people with low income, I have some good news for you. Below is the blueprint to help you optimize your money and to help you make more money. Because that's your problem. If you're low income, there's just not enough money to go around and we're going to work on addressing that. So go below and get into the how to start a service business bundle and you'll be well on your way to optimizing the money that you currently have, which is very important, and making more money. Links below. That, let's get into this video. We're going to talk about why I am never, ever, ever, ever going to retire. There's been a lot of discussion about getting a gang of money, getting a heap of money, investing it so you could do whatever you want to do with your life, right? What about creating a lifestyle where you could do what you want to do with your life? What about having money coming in, not passive income, but active income that operates like a passive income vehicle. Think about it. If this is your first time here, I'm Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. What we do here is we talk about money, how to make it, how to grow it, and how to get money is through hustling and entrepreneurship. Since this is your first time here, do me this solid. Go below and get on the text notification list. YouTube does not send a notification to my subscribers, even if you ring the bell, they just don't. So if you want to get this hot content fresh off the presses, do that. All right, so let's get into this conversation tonight. What do I mean about a perpetual business? I'm going to give you some background. I used to have a business that required me to work seven days a week. Now, going further back, I, at one point in my life, was extremely poor. I'm talking about we didn't have running water on the inside of the house, poor. So when I got this business, I was very grateful for this business because I was making money. I was happy. I was um, thrilled. But I didn't know any other way to make money other than to trade time for dollars. What I did do that was really wonderful for me was I traded my time for a higher dollar amount. At one time in the storage auction business, my hourly rate when I used to do it was like a thousand bucks an hour. That's how much I was making. But I was still trading time for money. And I got sick. And I saw how flawed that was because as long as I was healthy, as long as I could go to storage unit auctions and stuff, I was good to go. But that kind of messed me up a little bit. That really, really um, created a lot of problems. Um, the business shut down. And that's how I got to YouTube. That's where things got very interesting. I got my first taste of passive income boy that right there that that was a game changer i was making money and for those of you who've been here on the channel for a long time you know about this but for the new folks i was making money in my sleep this is where the craigslist protocol really got enhanced because i had the freedom to do what i wanted to do and i had money coming in and that was like three years. You know, you go back to that period. I was making a video a week because I was just too busy doing what I wanted to do. And I also found out that I would never retire. I had retirement. Money coming in, do what I want. I got bored. And that's where the Craigslist protocols came in. Then that ended. And this is something that many elderly people are facing today. They did the right things. Uh, they saved money. They paid off their house. They sent their kids to school. And they made a promise with this company or the government that in my elderly years, you're going to send me money and take care of me until I take that dirt nap. 
that promise is being broken all over the place. Uh, some people have had their benefits reduced 50%. Uh, people are suffering health issues and they need more money now than ever. And I, I look at this because I'm relatively young. And I was like, okay, how are we gonna do this? Because the active income is great, but that takes up all the time. The passive income is great, but at some point, something can come along and disrupt the passive income. It could be a platform change. It could be a war. It will disrupt this passive income. So passive income is dependent upon everything going right all the time. And active income is dependent upon you showing up. So in both cases, both of them can be more fragile than people let on to be. Um, they just don't get to really fill it out. So what I've come up with this solution, and this is why I'll never retire, is the perpetual company. Now, one of the things we do is teach you that every man should have a four-figure hustle minimum. That's one of the first mandates. You should do something that makes you a G or more per month in addition to your job. Now, I started to think about this. Build a hustle, keep your job, and start to scope out a long-term perpetual business model. Now, this is where I picked this up. Uh, one of my, work, my, my landlord for the warehouses I had, we used to call him Mr. Sam. Dude was 92 at the time, so he, he may still be around. That would make him, whoa, like 100 and 16 or something like that. But Mr. Sam had active income. He did not have, quote, passive income. When I used to make out my checks to pay my rent, I would make them out to a trust fund that was set up for his son and daughter. And there was literally about 35 buildings in this trust fund. They were all paid off. So there was an active business in the trust fund that Mr. Sam got money for managing the trust fund. I actually went to his house. Uh, this house would not, you, you wouldn't believe this house. This house was super nice, but if you knew how much money this dude was worth, or should I say his children were worth, because when you sell up a trust, and it was an irrevocable trust, because I said, well, why don't you sell some of these properties? I can't sell it. It's in a trust, which told me it was an irrevocable trust. So Mr. Sam got to live in a grand style because he still had, active income even though we would consider real estate passive income you still got to manage it you still have people hired there's still things to do it's not like you just like when i had true passive income i didn't do nothing when it came in i didn't do nothing i just i waited to um well i had two forms of passive income i had money coming through my merchant account and i had a big check coming from amazon every month that was me like for, for first of the month, I, I forget, I forget they even sent it. So the new thing is keep your job until it interferes with your business activities. Don't quit your job just to start a business. That's a bad, bad policy. But keep your job, start a hustle, and go ahead and figure out a long-term perpetual business model. And the way that this will work is you'll you'll spend a few years getting this set up. You may spend 10, 20 years getting this set up. But once it's set up, and part of to setting this up is proper debt management. If you can get a business to a million bucks a year and you can keep yourself out of debt, that business is going to keep making money. It's going to keep making money. So you're like 62, 70, whatever age you want to retire, whatever age you want to check out. Uh, for some of you, this could actually happen in your 30s. If you start at 16, you, you do your business, you do your hustle, then you build this. Uh, Gymshark, uh, the guy who has Gymshark, he literally has this deal at, he don't even think he's 30 years old because he's brought in the CEO. He He's just around the company. He does what he wants. He comes and goes as he wants, but he has millions of dollars coming in. Because he has other people running the business. So you spend 10, 15, 20, whatever time you need, and you learn the business side now, and, and then you go out and you get someone. And then some people uh, were talking about, you know, 
just literally giving someone a multi-million dollar business. Uh, homie, don't put that. You will, set, you will set them up and say, look, um, people in this industry make this. I'm going to pay you twice this. Now, this is what's going to happen. I am going to give you part ownership of this business 20 years from now. You got to invest your 20 years. I'll sign a contract, whatever, because say you're 70. Yeah, you give them the 90. But see, the thing is, they don't get full ownership of the business until you and your hairs are paid off. So what you do is you set it up where, you know, they'll get like three times, four times industry averages income and they'll slowly, you know, take over the company. Just don't be giving someone a 20, 30 year old company like, hey, yeah, you run it. You get no, 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 that, that's stupid. That's dangerous because what they're going to do, they're going to try to push you out and they're going to try not to pay you. So you you keep your hands firmly on the strings and you sign checks. You know, um, you could sign checks from Italy. You could travel, take care of your grandkids, do whatever you want to. But you don't give up any check signing authority. You just don't do that. So. You get the best of both worlds. You get an active business pumping you way more money than a 401k, way more money than a pension, way more money than stock market where you can only pull out four or five percent. And the reason that I, I present this to you and the reason I think you need to do this is we're about to enter a period of amazing medical advancement. Um, they're going to be able to grow you new lungs. They're going to be able to grow you new heart. They're going to be able to grow you new kidneys, all this other stuff, right? It is not going to be cheap. So for you to preserve your life and to preserve your health, you're going to need to have as much money as possible, not a million or two million or three million, and you pull 4% off a year. You don't want to be on a fixed income. You don't want to be that because let's say, your company's doing $5 million a year. We, we ain't even super balling. It's a solid company, very low debt. You own the property. You, you're in good position, right? And you make $5 million a year. You pay the CEO $500,000, okay? And then after taxes and everything, you get like $1.4, $1.5 million. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about this because you know, I get a lot of people – at one point, I had a lot of people who were doing investment uh, stuff, stock market stuff. They wanted to advertise the channel. They wanted me. I was like, that, that's not my message. I have not a penny in the stock market. I believe in the stock market. It can be effective. And if when you get old and the stock market is at a high, you're good to go. But what about you, 63, getting ready to retire and the market crashes? See, by you having a perpetual business, you control your destiny, you control your income, you control your future, not some third party or some dude up in New York. That's what I'm talking about. And this is what I'm doing. Notice how I have no personal debt. I don't have any car payments. So my credit card is paid before the statement cuts. And the reason I'm staying in this position is, and this is, this is going to really flip your wig. You don't have to be a millionaire. What, 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 what? Stick with me, stick with me. Let's say you, Jed, a farmer, you're, you're in a county where people don't make a lot of money. So you get your business, your farm, and you, once again, you make your debt properly. And you're making like $400,000 a year. But the average income in the area is 28. You, you boss hog. Remember that, Dukes of Hazard? You're boss hog, right? So even with that, you still will have a better lifestyle, higher income, even if you don't become a millionaire. Once again, uh, say you don't want to do this. Um, say you're 20 years old and your goal by the time you're 40 is to own 20 properties free and clear. Same thing. You may not even, your, your 20 properties might be worth uh, 40,000 bucks collectively, right? They're not even a million dollars. But 20 pro, you know, because by the time that you're of age to retire, rent's going to be 1200 1500 times 20. Uh, that's 20 some thousand dollars a month. Uh, you got a management company, you have taxes. So you're going to pull out at 15, 16, 17,000 dollars a month. 
and you ain't even a millionaire. Most people don't make $5,000 a month. And once again, you employ certain principles, you get your house paid off, you keep your debt. Once again, you, you're living real nice, even on the low end of this program. But so many people are caught up in this, I want to be a millionaire. I want to be a millionaire on paper. I want, to, I want to brag and say that I'm a millionaire and all this other stuff, right? They're so busy counting vanity that they ain't counting dollars folks here on the YouTube. So what I'm telling you is that you guys should keep your job, start a hustle, and then take your time and build a long-term. Because the thing is, uh, there are many long-term business models. It's all about debt management. A restaurant could be a long-term business model if you can get the building that the restaurant is. There it is. I knew of a restaurant when I was living in the uh, boarding house. And it was on the ice truck. It was a house in the hood. And they only served lunch. And their policy was once they ran out of food, they shut down. This house. And you go into the living room and there was this uh, buffet set up. And there's people putting in the, the Cornish hen, the dressing, the corn, all this stuff. This was verified 100% sold food that was seasoned just right. It was awesome, right? One day I just got smart and counted the people because we got there at the beginning and we actually ate there. There wasn't that many seats. And they were doing about $1,500, $2,000 a day in the 90s, five days a week, $1,500, $2,000 a day, house in the hood. They were doing like 20 to 40 grand per month. From this house in the hood. It's a business concept for those of you that, because everything goes down in the hood if you treat the hood right. But this is one of the things that you know we should all aspire to because the goal should be to create a situation where you get to manage your time, not to, I don't have anything to do. I got money coming. Trust me, I know that's going to sound very uh, crazy, but. You want to have something to do. You want to be gainfully employed because typically when you don't have something to do, this is when people just die. You never notice how with your aunts, your uncles, and elderly people, they retire and they sit down and do nothing. And one, two years, they gone. The body was meant to be in motion, to do stuff, to have dreams go. So you, you need to be doing some stuff. Seriously. Okay, that was crazy. Let's see. We got a few people here. <laughs> What's up, man? We got a lot of Georgia people here. Cool Breeze, J. J Laugh, Western. What's up, Raquel? Since Reality, Western, Ronnie Wilson, NC Administrative. That There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Financial independence, never ending is better than financial independence. Retire early. Yeah, because the thing is, you're going to see people are living longer. And the retirement age is 62, right? But people are retiring at 62 because they can no longer work because they didn't keep their body and health together. But these folks are not retiring by choice. And they're not retiring with a bunch of money. They're retiring because they can't work. And then they'll get a piece of a job. Like my mother literally worked up until she went into a home. She didn't know anything about money. What's up, suburban gents? Mentor Shelly, Diana. Uh, the Mr. Bum 86. What you need to do is go below and enroll in Game 105. There are a whole thing enhanced because I've said it a million times. And I'm not going to sit here and go over it and over it again. You want that information? Sign up. I'm not trying to be a dick about it. It's just if you don't know how to use Google. That's all I'm going to say on that. All right, Sir Isaac. What's up, Be Real? No, we can't link up. Let, let, me, let me go ahead and just um, 
tell you something and sir isaac i appreciate you wanting to link up i really do because that means you think highly of me let me tell you what my schedule is going to be for the rest of the year it's going to be balls to the wall uh, i'm going to be producing content four days a week training four days a week i ain't meeting nobody except my bed my bed at night so uh if i shut down the facebook group and i'm going to devote my time and energy to my students and that's what i'm going to so there will not be any meeting <laughs> you you want to earn birmingham hey there you go thank you doug for the five dollar super chat what's up christian gene christian grilling some chicken and sausage all right mark scott mark scott grill master christian alexander the thing that motivates me outside of all the things we talked about lately is the fact that i don't want to retire i want to work at walmart to make ends meet i understand johnny green you got to make that decision player you got to be in that truck you got to take on that responsibility so like a lot of y'all have asked me is this business a good idea you should research your business research your business model do the internet thing talk to people you should know more about that business than i do since that's what you want to do Raining, uh, one band. Yeah, I did the king talk. Uh, go below if you want to be a king and listen to that video because you know we, we have a lot of people out here who are perpetrating the fraud. If you don't have any followers, you don't have a kingdom. If you don't have an obedient queen, you ain't no king. I know that sucks, and I know that's either something you don't want to hear, but you ain't no king. Thank you. I think they they like me. <laughs> Steve James, my retirement isn't the Powerball. Man, the people are going crazy. I was out last night and someone was like, are you going to play the Powerball? And I said, no. Really? I, like, I have no interest in it. I mean, I, I know if I don't play, I can't win, but I, I'm just not playing. I, I, I've not played the lottery and that stuff like 15, 16 years. I want to become a developer overseas. Okay. All right. I got it. Raining wall man. <laughs> a true entrepreneur who would win the Powerball in the million million still will want to know how they can double or triple that. I'm glad y'all enjoyed the King Talk because I just got tired of some foolishness. Uh, we ain't going there, Gabran. We ain't going there. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do is keep the stream on point. So what we're going to do, uh, thank you for the follow super chat, but we ain't going there. What's up, Josco? Yeah, because this is a new concept because everyone talks about start a business and have an exit plan. Start a business, run it for five years, get it big, sell it to Google. I I'm like, don't do that. Because for some people, that's reality. That works. But if you are like 21 years old, you have bad credit, you got a baby's mama, um, you can still do this. The first thing to make this happen is you must have a vision and a plan, a written plan. I found something that I wrote like in 2008 because I was clean. I was looking for my DD-214. Uh, essentially, you got 60 days to turn this into Chase. Once again, if you're a veteran, Chase will open up a business or a personal account for you for free. I just went ahead and ordered my DD-214 just in case I can't find it. But I found so many things, and I found out stuff that I had written 15, 20 years ago that has come true. You got to write your goals down. A lot of people love that King video. Cool breeze, I would like to gamble on my business rather than some random choice of fortune. Yeah, because I mean, people gonna be on it. People gonna be on it, but I, I'm just like, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. 
Christian Alexander playing the lottery is doing poor people shit. Something that I learned from you, Uncle G. Very few people win. I mean, you know, you feel that you're gonna win, you feel the Lord's gonna bless you and your number, and you can play baby Joe's birthday to get go ahead, go ahead. I ain't messing with it. Thank you, reigning woman. Steph on that. My coworkers who didn't hit any numbers house. Do they want to make their millions? One of them said this. I think I'm content with without my millions unless I hit the low. A lot of people are, man. I had to use it for something. It's around here, but that's a good idea. Uh, the and save it as a PDF. That's really a good idea. Working on my business is my anxiety medication. That's cool. Okay, you were in the Air Force, good deal. Steve Jamie, love that King Talk, kill or be killed. That's the reality. The war is not going to be fought with guns and bullets and munitions. The, the war is going to be fought with dollar bills. The more dollar bills you have, the more bullets you have in your economic gun. And this is something that many people just simply refuse to understand. The Tea Party was built with an economic gun. These folks didn't just like get together and grassroots or no. There was a plan, there was a lieutenant, there was a general, there was someone handling stuff, there were checks that were written, but people don't want to do that. All right, what's up, man? The king was much needed. I really don't know how some men can seek answers, but reject it. It is the psychology of how people are groomed today. Everybody's going for vanity. I mean, someone sent me a link and I, 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 I really didn't believe it. And one of the reasons I didn't believe it is I don't think that way. But there are companies that are renting the time in a jet that's on the ground so they can take Instagram pictures. And now it makes sense because, you you know, if you see the same thing, you'll see a jet. You will see uh, a Rolls Royce, or Bentley. And I'm just like, does all these folks who have just have Rolls Royces? That's what I thought. I did not think that this stuff was fake. I Because I didn't, because one, I don't really pay attention to it. It's not my flow. It's not my vibe. But when he sent me that link that you can, for like 99, 90 bucks, rent a seat on a, a jet and take a picture. You can take a picture in the jet. You can take a picture outside the jet. Uh, the Rolls Royce is option. And I want you to really think about this. We have women, black women, white women, Asian women, and Hispanic women going out and putting stuff in their bodies. Some of them are doing it legit. Some of them are doing it dangerously. We have white women. Black women, Asian women, Hispanic women, getting weed. I'm going to do that for, uh, in a private conversation. I'm going to do that because I was messing with a white girl and she had a weed. Um, this is for vanity. They don't care if it's real. They want the look. They rather look good than to be organically good. And once I begin to understand that, because I don't think that way, so I didn't really see it, I was like, wow, this, this, this is messed up. What's up, Perceptions Media? Sir Isaac. Oh, Uncle Brand, I like this. Why do people try to pretend like money's not important when they always play in the world? I don't know. That's a good question. Thank you, Anthony Ware. Doug, the art of holding course. How does it work? How long is the course and how often is the course? Great question. Um, the art of, uh, art of holding is a living course. And what I mean by that is periodically I'm going to add content to it, like my experience with getting my holding company from my real estate company. Uh, I'm going to discuss that. I'm going to go to New Mexico and open up um, at New Mexico LLC. So I'm going to walk through it. Uh, the bulk of the course is done. How does it work? 
every person needs a holding company. If you want to do some king shit, create a holding company, create an operating company, and then find businesses, a business or businesses to activate these companies. So that's what the art of holdings about. Plus, we're going to get into more stuff. And the only way you can get it, because I had someone who was like trying to be cheap. Um, one of the things, and I know some of this is going to upset y'all, I'm not going to give you what you want. Because a lot of you, as evidence upon the Facebook group, just want to get your dick wet. You don't want to make any money. You want to start a new business. I, I'm out of that business. I'm not giving you what you want. I'm going to give you what you need. I'm going to feed your fucking soul. I'm going to give you the stuff that's going to make you rich. I'm going to give you the shit that's going to make you free. That's the business I'm in. So if you want to, quote, cheap, don't sign up. Because some of the stuff that's in the art of holding is going to require you to spend money. And you're not going to get an immediate return. What I'm doing and what I'm teaching you is what I have done. There's going to be a period where you're going to have to work hard. You're going to, have to put in effort. You're going to, have to show up every day and you're not going to get a paycheck for weeks and months. This YouTube channel. I work on this YouTube channel full time for six months. Now, full disclosure, because I had a business that I was liquidating, I had money in the bank. Because people are like, oh, you got lucky. No, I earned that position because I worked for that position. Luck had nothing to do with it. So, you know, because I see people who are like, hey, how can I get in cheap? Don't get in. If that is your thought process after watching me, don't buy. This is something for the rest of your life. This is something you can pass on to your kids. That's what this is. Now, the art of holding game 105 and psychology is now banded together. And the links below is $150 per month for 20 months. Now, if you own your king shit within two or three months, that 150 should be nothing to you because you hustling. But if you're like, hey, I just want to wait, what, you know, I, if you're just a rah rah person, like you get hyped, like that was a good video, that was a good lecture, it was a good course, you don't do shit with it, <laughs> you're not going to get any results, man. You just ain't. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Uh, Steve James, you can spend 500 bucks to rent a jet on the legs back with no. Dang. That's crazy. <laughs> Stunned on the ground. Uh, that broad video about Brazilian butt lips and even saw K. Michelle getting an illegal butt injection. It was horrible. It's like people don't want to learn about butt exercises. You know, since rally, you make a very good point because there was this girl I was following on Instagram and she was flat acid. And over 18 months, she lost weight. Um, she got in the gym she and this is something that I knew that she was working on and I knew she was true. She said, I focus only on ass exercises. I did the low bar squat and she just broke it down. And this girl literally because she she reduced her waist and she literally put two inches of muscle on her ass. So she has an ass now and she was flat ass 18 months. But like uh, since reality said, a lot of people don't want to put in work. They just want that ass. And in a few years, everybody's going to be able to have a huge dick. There's going to be a dick surgery, but it's going to have risk. Have risk. But a lot of folks are going to do that because they want to say they hang it. It's, it's wild. That's going to come up. Transparent. What's up, the Homer Apparel Group? I've been watching you for years and finally bought into a cleaning franchise last month. I have three clients and a thousand per month. Trying to get to the point where I can quit my day job. Thank you. Awesome. Taking action. Christian Anderson, that's one of my favorite slams. Something to think about. There's a huge difference in signing the back of a check than the front of the check and becoming an owner versus an employee. I, I actually clown some stunning on him. I was like, hey, my name's on the front of the check. He didn't even get it. He didn't even get it. All right.
right? Perception is needed from modern day to work, and now everything is becoming instant gratification like fast food. Uh, I would say you're 100% correct on that. Steve Jameson, you're funny, but I think you're absolutely right. I got another story that I need to put in private conversations because I can't talk about it on here. Uh, YouTube is doing this thing, and it's kind of like ghosting that they used to do on Craigslist, that if you use certain language and stuff, that they restrict your video. It's for real. That part is over Wednesday Lotto. You're going to have to be in the witness witness protection program because of all the negativity out here. Man, here's a little game for those of you who are going to play a lottery. Let's say you have a holding company, right? What you can do is have someone go pick up your check for you in the name of your company. Now, the check's going to be made out to your company so they can't cash it. Have it made out to something, something LLC because they got to publish the winner of the lottery, right? So if you got a corporation, I'm going to tell you, most folks are. They ain't going to look it up. They're just like, oh, so some company won. They're not going to look it up. 90% of the people will not even go to the Secretary of State and look at that company. Get you an attorney. Come up there. He does a speech, dog and pony show. Take your check to the bank. No one knows. That's one of the things you can do. Raining woman, people are having dick surgery. On. Actually, there is. There actually is an exercise. There's no drugs or surgery needed. There is, and you can literally, it's a combination of one losing weight and doing certain exercises, and you can get a bigger dick. Naturally, you can. Uh, all right, uh, Doug, this is for you. Starting next week, because I, I had a whole bunch of stuff to do. Uh, I'm going to people sign up. Let's go through it. You sign up for the game, the enhanced art of holding, right? It's 150 bucks. You're going to get instant access to game 105. Now, starting next week, I'm going to be adding people to the other courses because there's a way that I got to do this and I got to get set up for it. So be patient, but it'll start next week. All right, Baruch, good things. Oh, Christian, Christian, Christian. When it comes to success, consistency is king. Absolutely. And that, that's a very important thing. But it, and I'm going to tell you something about success that a lot of you just will find to be absolutely mind-numbing. Mind the most successful people are the folks who are brutally consistent. Uh, the best bodybuilders eat the same food day in, day out. They're machines. Uh, the people, the best athletes do the same workouts or harder or push themselves. And they don't eat bad food. It, it is just showing up and being consistent with things you know that bring you results. So that is it. All right. So for those of you who want to, and look, we're going to talk about this. I believe every man needs to have a holding company and an operating company. You need to do this before you get some chick pregnant, before you get married and all this other stuff. Because what it does is provide you financial protection and something apart from yourself that you get to control. Like I have this saying, the only rule, the only rights you have are those rights you can enforce, right? Uh, with my situation, if I was a regular dude with a regular job, they would have, I would have had no options. But because I created the holding company, the operating company, I actually was able to tell that judge, oh, I don't make any money. And they were going to have a hard time proving that. And this is why I just don't do certain things. But because I set that stuff up, it gave me the ability to enforce my rights. Because if you can't enforce your rights, you have no rights. And I actually found the dismissal thing when I was unpacking stuff. I was able to do that. I was able to hold people accountable because of decisions that I had made years prior. 
So when I'm saying this, I'm not just saying that, you know, you should do this. You just buy my course that. And this is going to be big. If 10 percent of black people were business owners, that would literally change the perception of the world of us. Just 10 percent, not the whole black community, just 10 percent. Where people got used to seeing a young black male in the Ferrari. I was like, oh, his dad must have got it. That's what they say about that Asian dude. You see an Asian dude pull up in the port. You don't think them? No, no. Oh, Asians got money. They built that perception about themselves in the last 30 years. When Asians came here, were hated. Google Archie Bunker episodes and see how he talked about Asians. They were happy with Asians, but they changed the game. Let's see. Um, <laughs> Y'all putting in their work. Uh, let's see. Do 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 be real clear. If you think I'm a jerk, don't buy my program. If you think you can pop off at me on the platform that I lease from YouTube, you're sadly mistaken, you little sorry ass bitch. You don't have what it takes because if you gonna get that worked up because I told you the truth, you'll never be successful. Now take that and you know get angry and actually go out and do something with your fucking life. All right. Embrace the suck. It's lonely when you build it. Yes, it is. True, true. I think they like me. You teach how to start a real business. A lot of the business guys who were selling dreams and all around, you could see the pain in their faces when things started to go downhill. Man, and th this, this is a good point. I appreciate you for saying that. I've been here nine years going on 10. How many business channels have you seen come and go in that time? How many people you've seen stop making YouTube videos because they just couldn't make it? Steve Jameson, Ray Lewis says, greatness is a lot of small things to well day after day, workout after workout, obedience after obedience, day after day. True. So, all right. So, sign up for the enhanced art of holding. Uh, you're going to get the little stuff to protect yourself. Because, see, I can't stress this. And too many young guys who you don't have any baby mamas, you don't have any of this stuff. This is the time to create your insurance policy. If you go ahead and create a holding company and you go ahead and create an operating company, and then you take control of your income, no one can just take money from you. Like child support, they just can't take your money because see, the child support orders going to come in your name. It ain't going to come in that business name. And if they find out you got a business, they're going to ask you for tax returns and they're going to ask you for a p &L. You, player, get to decide what goes on that p because you are the king of that company. And they ain't nothing, ain't a damn thing they can do about it. I'm just giving you the facts here because uh, one of the reasons I did the, the king shit video was you're sitting here looking at someone who went to child support court and won. And people are like, oh, every, people do that every day. I don't see that every day. I see people losing it. I see dudes almost suicidal here on YouTube because of child support. This shit ain't happening every day. But once again, these are the haters, you know, you good people who watch the channel who appreciate it, like Mr. Whatever his name is. He's a dick. Um, he's a hater because, see, I'm the, your instructor. I'm your educator. I'm you the life lessons that I have lived. And I'm not going to be kind about it. And I'm not going to kiss your asses. And therefore, I'm not going to blow smoke up your asses. And a lot of people don't appreciate my rough and tough approach. Fine. Find someone else to teach you this stuff. Good luck with that because they can't teach you what they don't know.
So, <clears throat> Douglas Jones, hundreds of thousands of Japanese Americans, American citizens were placed in concentration camps by the government in World War II. They lost everything. Absolutely. But see, you know, they ain't the same slavery, you know. That was just tough. They were only tough on them for a few years. I'm being facetious. What's up, hip hop? Instrumentals. Just smell so good. I like that name. Thank you very much. Chase. Uh, Chase gives veterans free check in the house. Personal and business. You can like have 30 check in the house of Chase. And if you're a veteran, they all free. I want you to think about that. That's dope. Thank you, Johnny. All right. Uh, so I'm about to shut this puppy down. For those of you who want to live a different life, because this ain't there for everybody. It ain't for everybody. But go ahead and enroll in the enhanced art of holding. And we're going to, because the art of holding is, like I said, it's a living course. It's going to be more content. And then we're going to get into some special stuff. And then I think you'll have to go to Disruptive Mail to get into private conversations. Uh, if you didn't know, YouTube has literally shut down anyone who uses too much profanity. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff that you get restricted and your channel won't grow. So the content I can't put on YouTube, I'm going to put on my own platform. All those little dirty stories and the story times. And see, I can actually 100% free because I don't have to worry about YouTube flagging some or shutting down the channel. So it's going to be dope. All right, so links are below. Make sure to get on the text notification list, and I will see you guys later, probably tomorrow, because uh, we, we got to crank it up. I was in L.A. I got way behind, so I got to do some double time to get right. See you guys later.